Welcome back to the show. This dish stars three unique flavors, and when they come together, watch out. The end result is delicious. Richmond executive, executive chef Patrick Willis is back with an Eastern Shore clam and green apple and chorizo sausage entree. It is great to see you again. Good what to an, see you. What an interesting combo. Yeah, I think they go well together. I like the uh, smokiness of the sausage with the brininess of the clams and then the tartness of the apples really go well together. All right, so you're covering all the bases. Absolutely. How yeah. on earth do we put this together? Well, there's a little bit of a, a few steps here, but uh, I'll walk you through it real. It's it's pretty easy once you'll see the end result. Okay. okay. First, get your pan hot, right? Pan's getting hot already. So, I like to start off with a little bit of olive oil. Um, and then next, you know what? I'm going to grab one of these spoons. Sounds um, good. Um, Let's go ahead and throw in our chorizo. Okay. This chorizo is uh, a local chorizo. Um, we get it out of Scott's Edition, a um, place called Sausage Craft. Mm -hmm. You can find their products um, in most of the grocery stores around town now. I'm a big fan of, of theirs. I do see it in the store and usually will fall victim to a package of that. It's really good. Yeah, it's delicious. We talk about chorizo on the show a lot, though. Describe the flavor in case anybody's unfamiliar. Uh, well, it's a pork sausage, um, has a decent amount of fat in it, uh, smoked paprika, garlic, it's it's just wonderful. A little heat? A little bit of heat at the end with some cayenne pepper. Okay. So we're going to render that a little bit. And I would dare say that's kind of like relaxed. Is that by yeah. on purpose just so it doesn't, you know, go crazy? Yeah, well, I've, I've already kind of cooked some of the stuff for the show already. so. Um, we don't want to really want to heat it up too much today. Okay. Um, we're just looking for that final result. So that's a secret of television. Chef got everything ready <laughs> for us. <laughs> yeah, got it ahead of time. Okay. Okay, so we're sweating our onions. We've got our chorizo working. Um, now we're gonna add a little bit more. Um, a little bit of garlic in there to just bring out the flavor of that chorizo. This is gonna have a lot of flavor, Chef. Oh yeah. It smells delicious. Good. So if we had smell a vision then you would benefit from that at home. Alas, it's just us. All right, so here we go. Let's let's add, let's add our main ingredient. Let's add our clams to the dish now. And now you, this is an example of uh, having done a little bit of work before you got here for us. These are already open. Absolutely, yeah. Um, for the show, it would have taken me about six or seven minutes just to have the clams pop open. Um, what I've done this morning is I've, is I've already cooked them a little bit. Um, so they're just about fully cooked, um, but it allows it to open up so we can do it for the show today. It smells so good in here, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and season a little bit. A um, little bit of salt, mm -hmm. some crushed pepper flakes. And Chef, those clams were kind of, um, they didn't have a whole lot of the, the liquor with them. Would yeah. you typically have some of that, like clam juice? Yes, absolutely. Um, when they do pop open, they'll release their liquor. Um, so I've cooked these ahead of time, so we have lost a okay. little bit of the liquor. But not a big deal, because what we have here is we've got this wonderful broth that we've mm. made. It's a fennel broth. Um, uh, we have the recipe on the website, right? Mm -hmm. You shared that with us, so yep. we'll post that on our site. Yep, okay. So if you, you know, were making this at home, the clams would release some liquid and then you have the broth too. Absolutely, absolutely. And once that liquor and the broth combine, you'll get a nice uh, seafood flavor to it. So what you'd want to do at this point is we're going to cover it up just for a second. Let that steam, um, finish cooking those clams. And like I said, if they were closed, this is the moment when they would start to pop open. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll let that sit for just a second and just we're just kind of bubble and do its thing. Right, so that'll warm up and we'll finish cooking those clams. Um, I have a few more ingredients that I'm going to add once these uh, guys finish cooking. It, this, tell us what we're going to be working with. Uh, we've got some, some fresh um, sun gold tomatoes. We have uh, some red uh, skin potatoes, uh, parsley, and then we're going to garnish it with the uh, green apple and fennel salad that we discussed earlier. This really does spell fall, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's new to the menu. Um, we're very excited and it's a, it's a wonderful seller at the restaurant. 
I'm All excited right. to try it. Yeah, so let's One see One thing here. I was looking for, first thing, was the dipping bread, and I see that we have that already, so yes. you don't want to miss any of that broth once that uh, opens up. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our tomatoes. Tomatoes, check. Our potatoes. Now, are these pre-cooked? Would you be putting these in um, just raw at home and letting them kind of come up in the, the broth? Absolutely. If you cut them small enough, you can, um, you can throw them in there raw. Um, today, I par-blanched them just so uh, they'd be edible within the short amount of time mm -hmm. that we had today. So when I do quality control, it'll be for real. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to swirl that around a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of fresh parsley in there. And you can already see how it's coming together. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe Yum. just a little bit more salt. Okay. Um, and I think we're just about ready. Oh, you know what? We can always add a little pat of butter. I was wondering what that little <laughs> pat of butter was going to be up to. Yeah, that butter just kind of makes the sauce a little bit more rich, um, kind of brings all the flavors together. And this is definitely one that you make and serve. So if you were making this at home, you, you, you're not making it for the next day. You're making this to enjoy. That Absolutely. evening. Absolutely. Okay. So that's already doing its thing. Butter's mm -hmm. going to melt. And then what happens? Um, then we'll go ahead and just start plating. Okay. Do you need that fancy spoon from over here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's, uh, I mean, you could eat it right out of this pan. That's what I would do at my house. But mm -hmm. um, at the restaurant, we need to make a good presentation. So we are talking about making this at home, too. Can I sneak a clam out of here? Absolutely. Okay. So you want to make sure that your date has some of this too, because it did have garlic in it. Yeah, so right. So if you bring a friend. Yeah. This is why you don't eat from the pot, Jessica. Mmm. Yum. Is it delicious? Yes, yeah, delicious. They're Good. nice and salty. You you pick the Eastern Shore clams for that reason, right? They give a nice brininess. Yeah, they're good. They're uh, they come from the Eastern Shore, right uh, close to Nassawaduk. Um, another place is um, Willis Wharf. Um, it is on the ocean side of the Virginia Eastern Shore. Uh, so we have our bowl plated here. I've got a little bit of uh, house-made vinaigrette here. We're going to pour over this apple and fennel salad. Okay. We'll put that right on top there. See, the wonders never cease. I, I was concerned how that was all going to come together. And then um, I grilled a piece of uh, local sourdough. Mm -hmm. This is from uh, Billy, Be Billy Bread Bakery. Um, and here you go. You've got the finished dish. Um, Eastern Shore Hog Island clams with local chorizo and green apple. Chef, congratulations on that refresh and reopening there at the Jefferson, and thanks for being back with us. Thank you very much. I'm gonna make sure that I get a little bit of this bread together, dip it right in here, and do a little quality control.